Cocina. <laughs> Coming up on In La Cocina, we're headed to Sandpoint, Idaho, to Oishi's Restaurant, where their Latin Asian fusion is heating up the resort town this summer. They're going to make us their California roll. Then we send our producer, Dwight Finney, to South Florida, where he finds a treasure trove of Latin food, including Sandy's, the home of the very first Cuban sandwich. Plus, find out what Bucci's all about. And we visit Chico's Cantina all the way down on mile marker 4.5 in Key West, Florida, for the freshest mahi-mahi tacos in the entire country. And speaking of fresh, we visit a brand new restaurant and nightclub in Sandpoint called The Dive. We'll show you why it's kid-friendly and the place to party. We'll also dive into their ceviche tacos. It's all next on In La Cocina, In the Kitchen. In the Kitchen is brought to you by the Hispanic Food Network. Visit our website at www.hispanicfoodnetwork.com. Okay, we're over at the sushi bar now in Oishi. And the thing I love about your sushi bar, I mean, the designs. First of all, talk about the Oishi in general and sort of the vibe behind it because you walk in here, there's bright colors, there's all these sorts of decorations, and I just love the vibe in here. We tried to capture what this building was circa 1920 uh -huh. uh, when it was first made as Hotel Wisconsin. It was a social mecca for nightlife entertainment. Yeah. It wasn't always the most positive nightlife entertainment. <laughs> it was a notorious hangout for gangsters. and you know, train robbers and uh -huh. you know, a good place to hang out. And <laughs> so what we did is we tried to tie that mobster theme uh -huh. in with sushi and we came up Very with cool. sleeping with the fishes and this is kind of like if you were wearing cement boots, this is what you'd see around you, yeah. you know, fish and seaweed and water. I love it, I love it. So uh, let's talk about the sushi a little bit because you know, in La Cocina, you're doing um, the Latin Asian fusion thing. Talk about your background a little bit because you got Latino blood, you're from San Diego, and I you do. brought I that have, vibe here to Sandpoint. I have an interesting mix. Uh, my dad's from Buenos Aires, and uh -huh. my mom is, uh, family is from Jerusalem, uh -huh. so I'm uh, Latin and Hebrew. Wow, that, that is quite a mix. <laughs> I mean, I grew up in Miami, so we had Jewish Cubans, we called them Jubans, but they. Jubans, yeah. Exactly, so yeah, kind of the same vibe. It was like, you know, Cubano food with bagels and locks, but you yeah. know, I had a lot of cool friends like that. So that is quite a mix. <laughs> and so, but my influence is I grew up in a primarily Mexican uh -huh. barrio called Encanto in San Diego uh -huh. and uh, had influence of, you know, Greek friends and African American yeah. friends and kind of every this eclectic melting pot. Very neat. Um, so I grew up eating Latino food and uh, once I kind of fell into the sushi, I was like, okay, how can we mix it up? How right. can we bring those flavors of uh, Latin Asia and bring the flavors together? So, and I loved it, man. On. It was really the first time that when we were here, I think it was back in December, the first time I ever had the Latin Asian fusion. All right, so we are in the sushi bar. What are we going to make right now? Uh, you know, once again, we're going to do another fusion roll. All right. um, we have amazing salmon here. It's a New Zealand king. It's uh, ultra fatty. Some of the best voted. Uh -huh. Some of the best salmon in the world. Ooh, sounds uh, good. A way to spotlight that. I want to try to bring like a ceviche flavor to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a southwest roll. Make our southwest right. roll. Our southwest roll is a full size roll. It has. I'm going to go with about three quarters of a cup of rice. Make that in a ball. I'm going to spread it to the outside corners. Now you don't want to mush down the rice. You just want to lightly spread it out. I'm going to put togarashi on, which is a Japanese spice. Flip it. This roll will be rolled inside out. To that, I'm going to add some cucumber, some scallion, cilantro, a little more here and salmon on the inside. We'll go ahead and roll it up. Top it with a little avocado. I'll go ahead and press that on. And we'll cut. Okay. 
cut into eight pieces. Let me grab this plate here. Drizzle it with a little lemon juice. Now what I do is I put my knife in the lemon and then when you squeeze the lemon, it directs the flow of your juice down your knife and right onto whatever you're trying to get the juice on. And then I'm gonna scoot over here and top that with TNT, which is a chipotle sriracha or a chipotle aioli. And on top of that, a little bit of sriracha. And there you have it. That is our Southwest roll. Salmon, cilantro, cucumber, scallions, topped with avocado, lemon juice, uh, chipotle aioli, and sriracha. Okay, let's give the Southwest roll a try. I do have my cheaters on my chopsticks here. We're gonna throw it in the wasabi sauce. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Perfect combination of spice, so good. Luisito. I don't, upper, I don't have cheaters. I never seen them this close on a shoot. <laughs> Just eat it, man. Wow. This is so good. So when you come to Sandpoint this summer, you got to check out the dive right next door to Oishi. Great food, great times. We're going to be here. This may be our new hangout, huh? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. No doubt about it. All right. Coming up next on In La Cocina, we're headed to my hometown, South Florida. We're going to get you schooled up what a Cuban sandwich is all about. That's next on In the Kitchen. Stay with us. In the Kitchen is brought to you by the Hispanic Food Network. Visit our website at www.hispanicfoodnetwork.com.